Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial and this is what I came up with. I really wanted to do something blue and sparkly and of course we're still in the middle of a pandemic. If you want to go out, you have to wear a mask. So I wanted the eyes to be the center of attention. I really like the way this turned out. I hope you guys enjoy it and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows off camera. I used the Benefit Goof Proof in the shade 4 and for the front part of the brow, I used the Anastasia Browies in the shade Shade soft brown. I think the eye makeup is going to be a little bit intense so I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm gonna apply it all over the lid. I've been using this primer for a while now and I gotta say I really really like it. I think the eyeshadows don't crease as much when I use this. So if you have oily eyelids I think this is a great option because sometimes concealer is not enough. Okay I think I'm gonna be using three eyeshadow palettes. I know it's a lot so if you're going to recreate this look you could try to find similar shades and it should be fine. The first palette I'm gonna be using is this one right here. This is the Morphe James Charles. I think this is the only one that I have with matte blue shades so we're gonna start with this one. I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This is the Wet n Wild P10. And I think I'm gonna start with this shade. I take off the excess and I start applying it all over the crease. I'm not really swiping, I'm just placing the color first. And once I have the intensity that I want, I just take a blending brush. This is the Morphe M433. And I start blending the edges in a circular motion. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. I have to admit, I'm not very skilled when it comes to pressed pigments, so this palette is definitely a challenge for me. Now I'm going to be taking this shade. It's a little bit darker than the one that we used before. And I think I'm going to use the same brush because I need to be very precise. And I'm going to place it on the crease as well, but a little bit lower. Okay, now I'm going to take the Dose of Colors Frenication Palette. This is actually in my current shop, my stash rotation, and I'm going to be using this blue right here. I think I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to start placing it on my mobile lid. And then I take a brush to blend out the edges. Okay, the last step is totally optional, but I really want to add something extra. So I have the Riviera palette by Anastasia, and I want to use this shade in the corner. It's called Mediterranean. It's like a blue with a little bit of silver in it, and I'm going to place it just on the center of the lid. This is just going to give it a little bit more dimension. I don't know if you can tell the difference, it's a very subtle change, but I think it elevates it a little bit more. Okay, so moving on to the face, I'm gonna start with this primer. This is a Catrice Aquafresh Hydro Primer, and I'm gonna apply it everywhere, especially on my cheeks. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of this Smashbox Pore Minimizing, just to smooth the texture that I have in this area. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Stay Naked in the shade 40NN. And I'm going to be using the sponge to blend it out. This is the one from e.l.f. I really like it. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Light Beige. I'm going to make sure I apply it right in the center because I don't know if you can see but I have a lot of darkness there and just a few dots right here. Okay. 
Okay, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of cream contour with this Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Fair. This is very pigmented, but I like it because it's easy to blend out. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. 105 brush. I'm going to take a little bit of product and put the excess on the back of my hand just in case. And then I place the product right in this area. Now for blush, I have the MAC Glow Play in the shade Cheer Up. This is a very bouncy formula. It's supposed to be a powder, but it's very, very creamy. So I'm going to take an angle brush and I'm going to apply it right here. And I'm going to take a little bit of this ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the shade on the cusp. And I just apply it with my fingers. I usually don't wear highlighters that are as intense as this one, but... It's New Year's, so why not? Okay, and now I'm gonna take my loose powder. This is a Too Faced Peach Perfect. And I'm just gonna set under my eyes and also my T-zone. Let's finish up the eyes. I'm just gonna take a small pencil brush and the first shade that we used, and I'm gonna be applying it on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a little bit of the ColourPop highlighter to highlight my inner corners. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. I have it in the shade 0 and I'm gonna be applying it on my waterline. And finally, mascara. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Again, if you wanna use falsies, you can totally do it. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this mascara. Okay, and finally for the lips, first I apply this ColourPop lip liner in the shade Aquarius. And I want to finish up with a liquid lipstick just in case I need to wear a mask. I don't want it to be transferring everywhere. And I have this one by Laura Makeup Labs. This is in the shade Step by Step. And of course, I'm gonna set everything with this Milani Make It Last. This is the matte version. And that will be everything. This is the completed look. I have to admit, I was a little bit scared at first with those blue pigments, but I really liked how it turned out. I hope you guys liked it as well. Of course, I'm gonna leave all the products and all the shades that I used in the description box. But if you have any question, you can always leave them in the comment section down below. I think that's everything for today. I hope you guys liked it. Happy New Year. Y les mando un beso gigante. Y nos vemos en la próxima. Chao.